Why, hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to Playframe and welcome to Dredge. This game is an indie game that came out a month or two ago at this point, uh, and it's pretty delightful. It is a Lovecraftian fishing game is the best short, quick way I can explain it. And I know that might sound like a genre Mad Lib, but let me assure you, the combination is quite good. Let me demonstrate with a new game. The vibes are good, the art is good, and it's pretty fun too from what I've seen. So, job listing, angler wanted. I've only seen about the first 20-30 minutes of this, so there may be a lot more to the game than I realize as well, but even from what I've seen, it's compelling. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see our new fishermen upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out of here to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time, it can really creep up on you. Noted. Alright, well let's undock. So move forwards with left stick, uh, left stick down to reverse. Move with the left stick, basically. We sail. Rotate the camera with the right stick. Check settings for more options. So this is very pretty. Oop. I see fish. So, fishing is done with a little mini game in here. Uh, we've got disturbed water with a high stock. Uh, start fishing with X. And we wanna hit X at the right time to accelerate this little meter filling here to catch fish faster. And we've succeeded. It was a pretty easy fish. Now though, we have to place this fish because we have limited inventory space. So we'll place this blue mackerel uh, right here. There we go. Let's fish some more in this spot. Good timing, very good. Let's keep on putting them blue mackerels in storage. We are running out of blue mackerel in this spot though. That's fine. Looks like there's a little more, why not? They're right here. And the spot's been depleted. Okay. We'll go look for another. And this is shining a little bit. Can I investigate? A floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscure hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Yes, light is going to be an important aspect of play as we get toward evening. Oh, <laughs> that's why the pop-up wouldn't go away. I wasn't using the right stick. Um, well, we've moved to a fishing spot and started fishing. We can't fish here, though. Not equipped for it. Let me uh, find another spot with fish I can fit. Here we go. And begin fish. Timing was bad on that first one. That's fine. There we go. We've got a cod, which is a different shape, and we're going to have to Tetris it in here. So here we go. Let's catch some more. Beautiful. Nice and relaxing. That's all from this spot. Time only advances when you are moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Yes. As long as you are still or in a menu, you don't have to worry about time ticking away on you, which is nice. Appreciate that. More fish. More of these. 
running out of space in the boat. It's all right, though. Uh, here we go. Oh, it is a little bit more. Thought we were depleted. Not quite. And boom. Well, we could keep fishing, but we are out of space for fish. So I think it's time we headed back. It's a little bit late in the afternoon anyway. Uh, oh, also we can check our cabin, which has some stuff to look at. Uh, pursuits or quests, I guess. Just catch fish for the day. Done that. And then we got an encyclopedia with information about the various fish. There are many fish, most of which we have not yet encountered. Let's head back to the dock. Select your lights by holding left bumper and toggling them with X. Lights help you see, but make you more visible as well. Why would that be a concern, you might ask? Well, we'll find out together. But for now, back to town. Nice and chill. You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, you will need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Uh... Where do I sell fish? Our local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open at all hours. That doesn't sound healthy. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Uh, all right. To the fishmonger. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Oh. You're the new fisherman, huh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. Uh, what happened to the other one? He... It, it takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So, let's see what you got. Well, a whole lot of blue mackerel and some cod. I'm just going to sell all fish. There we go. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Uh, why don't you take it? Maybe I will. Hang on. Uh, I'm confused. Okay, here we go. Let me... Pick up this research part. A curious looking component. Could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at a dock first. Pick it up. And move it in here to my storage. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Maybe I will do that. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before returning back to her work. Uh. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Can you... I'm going to enter repair mode right now. Oh no, I'm going to exit repair mode. I meant research. The other R word. Can you... 
Do something with this. Anything at all. What happens if I drop this over here? No? Okay, maybe I need to go to a different tab. Over, uh, over here. You know what, I'm just gonna buy some stuff. I've got some money. I could get a new kind of fishing line, which would allow me to fish in different areas for different kinds of fish, which is cool. I could also get some engines to be able to move a little bit faster. Uh, or I could get some lights. To improve the lighting on my boat. That feels prudent. I'm going to get a cracked bulb. And install it, which will take one hour. There we go. Hooray. More light on the boat. Can't seem to do anything with the research part yet. Maybe a bit later. Wait, research is here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Here we go. I should mention, I tried this for 30 minutes, <laughs> like, a few weeks ago, so that's why I'm a little bit rusty on a thing that I have already played. <laughs> uh, let's see. We could research better uh, rods, better engines. Pots and nets are not within our researching capacity right now. And we also don't have enough... Uh, research parts to research any of these rods just yet. Maybe we need to start on these. The ones that are, like, highlighted. I think we must. Hydraulic rod it is for a faster fishing speed. Cool. Now available in stores. Rad. So if I go to this door, I definitely won't be able to afford it. Nope. Not even a little bit close. That's fine. We can solve that by catching more fish. But maybe tomorrow it's dark out there and I don't feel safe going out there in the dark. So rest. Resting until dawn. Here we are. Okay. We fish. And now we got a light on the front of our boat for more light. Now, I'm guessing this is still an area of fishing. Yep, still can't do that. We're going to need a better rod, I think, for that. So let's try something else. I see something sparkling over here. A little bit. Maybe that was my imagination, but I thought I saw... Yeah, there's something sparkling. Hang on. Fish, you will have to wait. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. That's some good writing and some real... Deep, ominous thought for fishing on a Tuesday. What can we fish for? What is within our skill? Fish! Well, that's depleted already. Here's some bigger stuff. Am I able to reel in stuff this big? I'm guessing no. Gotta start small. And also, what's this? Twentieth of August, nineteen twenty seven, added to cabin. Oh, we are investigating that message. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon, and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Oh, at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. 
He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he's prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half-hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Really enjoying the writing in this already. These just look like planks. Can I, like, pull these in? No. Oh, a dredging spot. Haven't got equipment for that yet. Gonna have to catch a lot more basic... boring noob fish first. And stuff them into my boat. Somehow or other. Let's move you somewhere more... convenient. And just enjoy some chill fishing vibes. Oops. Seems like the penalty for not hitting the faster fishing little uh, precise timers is just it taking longer to fish, so eating up more time in your day. Which does seem like a somewhat precious commodity. I appreciate the fish not just, like, getting away. Hey, here's another town. We could visit. It's getting a little dark, actually. I'm gonna... I'm gonna head back. Before this episode ends, though, we are definitely going to stay out a little while and... Just, you know... See what happens. Oh, why not? One more little bit of fishing. Ooh, that's a new thing. And a new little minigame, too. Cool. I bet there's different fishing at night. Something to incentivize you to stay out. It's already kind of working. I do notice an eyeball up there on the time of day meter, so I think I might just, uh... Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. My boat's not steering as straight as it was... Before nighttime. That's fine. We're back. Everything's fine. Hmm. I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Tell me about it. They asked for one gulf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch those. The shipwright should be able to sort that out for you. If you're ever hunting for specific species, check your encyclopedia. It could have the information you need. Will do. Buy my fish. Thank you. Let's see if we can get ourselves a fishing rod that'll work in shallows. Hmm. Let's see. Shallow or shallow. Okay, two options of different price and space taking up. Uh, the simple skimmer has an install time of two hours and a fishing speed of 10%. This one has a fishing speed of 40%, slightly longer install time and costs twice as much and takes up more space. It's a lot of variables to kind of keep in mind, but let's, let's go for it. Buy it. Install it. Boom. Yeah. Now we can fish in more places and we're out of money. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Uh. Why are you here? I've... crashed here. None of these are true, I crashed here, but... I guess I came to fish. Uh. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. I gotta pay my... Boat dead. Oh, what's up, Mayor? How do I... Oh, there we go. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Uh, would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Sure. A small package. The contents don't feel like anything at all. Just a wrapped mess of shapes. I'll stuff this somewhere in fish storage. The Mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it, I don't want it to spoil. 
But don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Noted. And I'll get this delivered tomorrow then. Uh. Ooh. More tasks for us. So deliver this to the dock worker at Little Marrow. We'll prioritize that tomorrow. And, ah, our larger map. And this is just the little area we've been tootling around in. And we've caught several things. Okay, I, I assumed so. The arrow squid is a nighttime fish. Or squid. You know. Okay. Well, let's get in some Z's. Big day tomorrow. Of fishing and mail delivery. Let's head right over. Catch a few things on the way, maybe. Ooh. Nice. Trophy caught. So if you can hit those yellow ones, it's all the better. Love it. Weren't a lot of fish there, though. I'm guessing because I've fished in that area quite a lot over the last couple days. Couldn't hurt to catch a couple more along the way. I do want to leave room for some other fish, though, so maybe we will actually move on. I've caught quite a few blue mackerel. They don't seem to be worth tons, although we did catch a really good one here, so. We'll see what difference that makes. And... We arrive. Huh? What? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Hmm. Yeah, nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose? He hands you some money. Hmm. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're out on the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. Appreciate it. Okay, so I have storage here. That's nice. Um. Oh, good. The book is not, like, actually taking up inventory space, I don't think. Interesting. So we've got books we can read while we're out as well. I thought that was just going to be a new inventory thing or something in my encyclopedia, but that's actu an actual, like, task. Cool. Trader. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello. Is that... No. I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? I mean, I got a real nice fish. It's extra good fish, but I don't think that's what you're... I don't think that's what you're looking for. Although maybe once I can go dredge stuff, then I might find, like, cool things the trader wants. Anyway, I've got shallow fishing to do. And I think I might spy some over here. Yes. New fishing. Very space-consuming, but cool. We'll do that, and then leave it at that, because I literally can't fit another of you. Well, if I move some stuff around. Could catch one more. There we go. Two stingray. Can't dredge yet, but I do see a bottle. Ah. Let's see. 21st of August, 1927. 
We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He's been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He's paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I've never known him to be so superstitious. Curious to see how that story unfolds. But in the meantime, more shallow fish. Is this a shallow fish? Maybe. I feel like you might not qualify. You're pretty big. No, you're pretty big. Maybe... Is this a dredging spot? Or is it fish? This looks like dredging. Yeah. Maybe you, though. Fish. Oh, it's just more of these, I think? Wait. Are these more blue mackerel? They are. Well, y'all do squeeze into the boat nice and easy. I'll give you that. There we go. And that's it for fish space. Which is fine, because it's getting dark. Do, 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 do. I need more engine on this boat, I think. We're a little sluggish. Could do a little reading now that we're here near port. Selected as active book, past time to read. Oh, interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Does that work? I'm guessing sleeping doesn't count, but let's find out. Okay. First of all, so let's like actually like check how much stuff is worth here. A blue mackerel is worth 10. No, oh, no, it depends on the size, I see. So somewhere between 8 and 10. This one, though, is worth 12 because it's extra good. These are, ooh, boy, these are worth quite a lot. They better be. They fill up so much space. But like between, like around 60 bucks, not bad. Sell all. The mayor's walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow's growing. Our town's sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad that you've chosen to be here with us. Eh, I've paid off my debt, haven't I? Good for me. So, the dry dock, huh? This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. How do I get materials? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast, from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Cool. I don't have any of this stuff, but... Exciting. Uh, could I potentially, if any of your equipment stops working, head back here for repairs? Is there anything that you could sell me that I could use to start, like, dredging with? I don't think so. Yeah, you don't have any nets. I think I'm going to need to research such things. How do I get more research parts, I wonder? Well, in the meantime, let's get another engine. Boom. There we go. Okay. I wonder, did passing time there while uh, installation was happening, did I... I did progress in the book a little bit. Nice. Okay, cool. Neat. All right. Well, I think that's it for now. Let's... Because we don't have any more research parts that I'm aware of. No. Okay. So we snooze. And here we go. 
Back out to the water. Let's see how much faster we move. A little bit. This is an improvement. Let's catch a bunch of you. Or as many of you as we can fit. Which is probably two. Oh, smaller ones. Okay. That actually works out for me. Nice. Uh, room for one, two more. And heck. We can just go right back to the fishmonger, get rid of these, and then come back out. With our faster boat. Docking. Buy my fish. Have you got any fish for that order? Oh, I do have one. Just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's ready to go. Alrighty. Have my worst gulf flounder. Actually, uh, I'm getting more for these here, I think. From the sound of things, so... Here. Boop. And as soon as I get a gray eel, you'll be the first to know. Alright, come back when you have everything. Now to regular business, huh? I found this book out back. Could be useful for you. Am I the only one in town who reads, or, uh... Well, the fishmonger reaches under the counter and hands you a damp, battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. Decorative. Here's the rest of the fish. Thank you. I got more fishing to do. Away! Do I have any more gear? I've got a foghorn, a loud horn to make your presence known. Hey. Get that mouse wheel off the screen. And a spyglass. Can identify fishing spots at a distance. Oh, that's cool. Let's try that out. Blue mackerel here. Dredging spots. Oceanic. That's what that is. Hmm. Ooh, that's a thing we need. Looks like it's that or blue mackerel today. Works for me, let's go. That's a new interface. We fish. I like that the mini game is kind of mixing it up. Depending on the fish type. Now I can fit so many of these. Nice. And we're out of those. That's a dredging spot. Here's a small little collection of... Uh, oops. Wrong button. Oop, just one mackerel, and that was it. A more productive fishing day, though. Got in two trips. All right, got room for one more, I think. Yep. And time for one more as well. Let's get our lights going. Just in case. It is quite relaxing, despite the ominous vibes. I, that's, I think, kind of what I like about it. It's it's pretty and somber in that sort of Lovecraftian way, and I'm sure it might get a little bit spooky uh, as the further we go on and the more risks it in, encourages me to take. But otherwise, it is still a pretty 
it is functioning as kind of just a relaxing, chill fishing life simulator. Which I'm enjoying. And I have got fish for that order. Here you go. High quality, even. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night and, well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. Yeah, I guess we might be staying out late. Heck, might as well. It's the time for it. Is there an upgrade we could get worth getting? We don't have space for a hydraulic rod. Or we do, but we couldn't have it equipped while also being able to fish in the shallows. Uh... Hmm... Could get a better light, I suppose. More lumens, longer range. You know what, let's do. If we're going out. In this. And this I will keep in... Storage. Which I got quite a lot of storage space, it's good to know. Alright. Well. Let's... Go... Potentially... Make a mistake. Get an eye full of the nightlife around here. So where's the fish? I was led to believe there might be fish. Here's something. Ooh, a black grouper. Nice. I need one of those. Oop, keep that light on. Uh, fish. There we go. Doing all right. Still looking for squid, though. Can I... pull this out without turning my lights off? I can. Great. Uh... Grouper that way. Wait. Squid on the far coast. Come on, man. More squid over here. Okay, there's lots in the more distance, but boy. Heck with it. Let's go clear across. We're still in, like, kind of a generally shallow, safer little area, comparatively. It's not like we're going out to sea. It's as safe as being out this late could possibly be. That's different. A brood squid. Hmm. Tentacles sprout from a glowing core inside a gelatinous sack. Other cores lay dormant alongside. I'm sure that's fine. Further incentive to be fishing at night, though. Find all kinds of cool stuff. But we probably better head back. This... or the eye up top is just getting kind of more panicky and that... worries me a little. Oh no, the... oh, we're losing fish. That just emerged out of nowhere. That's cool. Either it emerged out of nowhere, or our, uh, sort of panic made it to where we couldn't see it until we were way too close to it. Either way. Cool. I do have the fish for the order. I don't know if it's the good one or the... Hey, it is the good one. Awesome. Oh, and we took some damage need repairs. I see. There we go. And a couple of these, even. 
Boom. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing's a tall order. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. I got one here for you. In fact, it's a bit banged up, but you could get to fix the shipwright. Cool. I'd love to. Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at sea anywhere, then come back after a day or two to check on it. I've got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. <sighs> now, this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Huh, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish, too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Well, then I'll keep an eye out. Also, you're selling more of these. Nice. I'd buy one, but I think I need to uh, see how much boat repairs are going to cost me first. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out this... Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Interesting. Shipwright, my boat took some bumps. Your boat's looking a bit banged up. I can repair that there here if you like. I would love that, yes. Uh, all right, costs 30. Not great, but ooh. I see, like, there are like three damage counter things up top there. Either that means she can only repair three things in any given day, or if I get more than three damage, something bad might happen. Nothing to worry about. Okay, well. I think I sold all the fish, right? No, I didn't. There was one left. Sell. I mean, sell. There we go. Let's get another one of the... Uh, Crab pots, actually. We'll drop those off somewhere tomorrow. Now we rest. Feeling a little better. So... Uh... Making good progress on the book. We do need to meet at Blackstone Isle, though. That's a thing we need to do. Where... Is that out this way? Okay, well, maybe that's where we'll head today. Let's place a marker. Uh -huh. Maybe we don't need to, actually. Might be plenty visible from here. Select the crab pot ability with left bumper and deploy one with X. They catch things over time, but need repairing every so often. Okay. Well, here, let's put one right here. Deploy. Nice. And we'll deploy another here. And then start heading over this way. Can't dredge yet and can't, I don't think, ocean fish yet. Does this count as that? Oh, it's cod. Can still catch those, I suppose. Let's catch fish. Ooh, finished reading. Hooray. Let me finish fishing these up here, and then we'll check the cabin for bonuses. Okay. Uh... Well, there's this, yes, but... 
10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Nice. A hefty tome and laborious read. It goes into great detail about techniques that can be employed to reduce the impacts of fishing upon fish stocks. Mentioned something about ensuring a healthy ecosystem for future generations. Well, now we can start reading rods, reels, and rigs. It's a cool game, right? Okay, let's park. Storage, workshop, and a ruined mansion. Let's start with that. The man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things. Art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I'll outfit your vessel with equipment that'll let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Oh, hooray! Find me those lost relics and I'll reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? I accept. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. I will. What's this workshop? The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. I'm going in. It's locked. Oh. Never mind. I'm leaving. Let's try out our dredging ability. Where's a good dredging spot? Here. There we go. Dredge. Press X to change lanes and avoid gaps. Oh, cool. Okay. A new kind of minigame. I like it. And we got our ring. Neat. Let's see if we can find some more dredging to be done. Here we go. And dredge. Oops. Yeah, lumber. We're gonna need that for boat upgrading. Beautiful. And it's getting dark. I wonder, is parking ourselves uh, at this town... We actually don't have space for this kind of fish. Is parking ourselves in this town a viable safety strat? I do hope so. Hey, there's another character to talk to. Hello. Is everything okay? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes. You see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there, somewhere, in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I notice you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, especially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. Anything else I can help you with? What do you know about any strange occurrences? I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. 
Throw it back, he would cry over and over, begging anyone who would listen, howling it to the wind. These days I almost feel like I understand. Anything else I can help you with? I'm good, thank you. Hmm. Let's undock, because I can't sell my fish here. And that just won't do. Gotta sell my fish. And watch out for surprise rocks. I do see that glowing red something back there. And I am a little curious about it. Oop, surprise rock. There we go. I has fish. Sell all fish. And then... Let's... Drop off lumber. Remember, you don't have to have all the materials at once. You can store whatever you have right here at the dry dock. Perfect. Yeah, I've only got lumber, which is not enough to get anything on its own. We're gonna need some other parts, it looks like. Exciting, though. So did I drop it off? No, I didn't. Uh, dry dock. Oh, I guess I can go ahead and put the lumber toward whatever the items are. Yeah, to begin adding materials. Okay. So I could add another light space. Two more engine spaces. Four net spaces. Two more rod spaces. But we might want more rod spaces because the net spaces are modifiers to the rod spaces that exist. So let's... let's add rod spaces, actually. Here we go. And... Uh, here we go. Cool. Nice. Also, we do have some folks wanting to chat. What is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. Mm. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Who lives on Blackstone Isle? Mm. I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. I don't, but... I'm excited to find out. We should probably wrap up here today, but I... feel like... before we do... we should make a little voyage out... to the Red Glow. And just see what we can see. Oh, another boat. Hello, neighbor. No? Okay, well. Later then. This is a good boating idea. Loving the glow stuff I'm seeing out here. Ooh. Oh, dear. We're being attacked now. That's new. Um. Ah! Some good dredging out here. Hooray! Whoo! Got a relic! An antique diary key. Cool. We should head back. Probably. Sun's coming up at least. And there's fish. Oops. Yeah. Bad fishing. There we go. 
Might as well catch a few things. Gonna need some money for repairs. What a cool game. Seems like we're still not feeling tons better despite the sun coming up. Guess staying up all night in Nightmare Land will do that to you. I'm guessing we're still at risk of anomalies. Looks like we're starting to calm down maybe just a slight bit. It's hard to tell. But I'm guessing even if the sun is up, if we are not in good condition, bad things might still happen. Cool game. I like it. All right. Well, that's Dredge. <laughs> Definitely recommend it, because it's pretty cool in my experience so far and seems to have a lot more to offer beyond what I've been able to show you today. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow for something else. Bye!